Hey beauties and girls, yes, this is another makeup in the car, but we're using the Ipsy Glam Bag. Get over here. Uh, yeah, we're using the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is my favorite unboxing, so if you're interested in what I got in my bag, keep watching. Okay, I'm really excited about this box. I dig, I dug in already, obviously. So you see my face. We are going to get into the products, the price, and if I feel like it's a worth, like, if it's worth the amount of money because I have some thoughts on some of these products. So let's jump right in. This is Hey Ipster, get ready to fall deeply in love with your February Glam Bag. Wait, February Glam Bag Plus. And so in this one, we got five products. Sometimes you get six and in my December, I got six. So it's the first thing is the Double Duty Dream Big Palette. This is what is showing on the brochure. I love this because it shows you how to use it. It gives you the value of it. And this retails for $30. We are gonna put this on our eyes in a minute, but this is how it looks. Tarte it makes really good mirrors. So I love things. It's travel friendly. It looks like to me more, I mean, it could be a cool tone and a warm tone palette, which makes it good for travel. So, uh let's let's stick it on our eyes right now okay i already have on ambitious which is this eggshell color i'm gonna go in with what is this go for it okay and i'm just ooh, that's dark i wish they did have a color that was a little bit more pleasable for the like a transition shade but they do have, I mean, it's very pigmented. So I'm just gonna take it here on this one and then blend. The blending is okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Like, I feel like that it kind of skips. We'll blend that out. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but we'll work with it. Take a little powder and just clean that up okay done with this okay so this retails for $30 I feel like it's nice but um, I like better 30 bucks I think I would just in and like the the pro this is nice for on the go but y'all I've had better to be honest with you this I'm really impressed with. This is from Mayel Cosmetics. This is their Sun Kiss Bronzer. It retails for $32, I believe. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. This reminds me so much of the Hourglass Radiance Bronze Light, which is $50. The packaging is sleek. It's mirrored, so you get fingerprints on it. But y'all... This is good. This is a really good, I have it on right now. I don't have it on any other bronzer but this. And I like it because, I even like how the, it's patterned in here because I took my brush, I went boom, and only picked up really the bronzer. So I went here, here, right? And it gave me a nice sun kiss glow, okay? I could take it across my nose if I want to do, which I am going to do. And right here on my chin. I'm not wearing any like highlight. I could totally go back in here and go boom into the highlight and give myself some more glow. Okay. I like this a lot. I feel like I was thinking on the drive when I put this on. 
like when I put it on at a stop sign y'all not driving when I put this on I was like I would pay the same amount as my bronzer as my radiance bronze light I feel like that this is totally worth it and you save what $18 so um, I really like this I like this a lot I feel like it's worth the money just because it's a brand you haven't heard of that's the great thing I love about Ipsy okay so this one this one is from Scott what is it Scott and Park this is the beauty filter cream glow and it is K beauty and it's loaded with flower extracts like lily rose and jasmine it gives you an instant glow and you can use this before applying makeup or um, the last step in your skincare so basically this is a moisturizing primer okay um, and it's from K Beauty I did feel like I needed more moisture but in the summertime not so much probably it is a thicker cream but I still feel like I needed some moisture just because of the dryness but I do like that it has a little spoon I use the top the lid it's it does have like a, a like a floral scent a light floral scent and I got a very opalescent glow with this let's see if I can show you on the back of my hand yeah it kind of shows that opalescent glow right there so I really did like this as well um, we'll see but it's basically like a priming moisturizer I prefer this in a pump um, rather than scooping it out it just it's just easier a pump and so yeah that's what this retails for $32 not bad not bad at all if you were getting a primer and a moisturizer in one I feel like that this if it's like your cup of tea I feel like people with oily skin need to avoid this though just I mean I like it but I think it should be avoided okay that's number three let's go with number four this is from finding Ferdinand this is a lipstick where's the lipstick it is their lipstick in knob heel it's a classic red you can switch up your shade by pairing it with your favorite lighter darker lip liner now I y'all know I am persona cosmetics holy grail liquid lipstick that's the only red that I need and want currently so I am gonna um, give this to my girlfriend um, CJ she loves red lipstick so I'm um, finding fair man I, I don't I'm not a fan of like really red lipstick so I am gonna go on the I like do like how that clicks in I wish they would have given me a nude which I am gonna go and do the review and let them know don't I don't like colors like this although I, I like a good red lip I don't wear them often only around the holidays and for videos and stuff but in real life I really don't wear red um, but holy grail is like my perfect red uh, from persona cosmetics so I love that this is from it cosmetics I'm really happy about this because it's cosmetics brushes are extremely expensive um, and so not extreme but um, y'all see what I'm talking about this flat top kabuki is $48 okay this is from it cosmetics I did not try this today but I definitely will let you guys know I love that it comes in its own container because if you want to travel I suggest kind of like keeping these because if you want to travel um, you definitely can do this but I'm excited because I do like a flat top kabuki I'm gonna tell you um, I like getting them in glam bags like this because I would not pay regular price for this um, but to push this into my skin um, it reminds me of the way the hourglass and I love the vanish stick did not buy that expensive brush either although I do invest in expensive brushes I just prefer to get them like this because it's worth the money $48 for one brush I would definitely go to like an IMATS or something like that and get some quality brushes for an expensive price but those are my um, items from my ipsy glam bag plus so I have everything on I'm gonna finish my face off with some mascara my face my eyes off with some mascara but I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye, guys. Bye.